the final instalment of our mini-series, we're looking at how to distribute hanging plants along a large number of balconies. Manually drawing growth spines on each balcony might work for small buildings, but for large buildings with dozens or hundreds of balconies, it's not practical. So you'd model a simple mesh that represents the maximum spread of a single hanging plant. Then load a preset from the Forest Ivy Library. Assign your temporary mesh as the growth area, and adjust the growth parameters, for example using a negative climbing value and increased gravity to simulate a natural hanging effect. Then you can animate the random seed to generate a unique plant variation and use the snapshot tool to bake them into static mesh objects. Assign pivots to your guide spline to ensure correct distribution. Once you've got your plants, add them to a new forest pack object. Set the distribution mode to path and pick the balcony splines from the scene. Exclude areas where the balcony meets the wall using an effect that allows you to exclude material IDs. And finally, add some randomness in scale, rotation and spacing and optionally add a disabled object to the geometry list to create gaps that simulate natural clustering and spacing. You now have a procedural system where every element from the balcony's geometry, the scattered objects and the hanging plants can be updated automatically.